are doing a brand new Sims for us people today and so today is definitely going to be a really great day just because I'm excited to say that I'm building yet again but this time in the town of Newcrest because the last time I built was in the town of Sulani which is a brand new Sims 4 expansion pack that just came out a couple of days ago but this time I'm actually building for my save file but also for a huge group collab that I'm part of with my good old friend boy simming Jake you know who you are kind of cool kind of fun kind of fresh but however, I wanted to kill two birds with one stone and build something creative called the Artist Cove on a 20 by, on a 20 by 15 lot costing over 60,000 simoleons on the gallery right now for you guys to download. My origin ID is Spring Sims and in case you want to download this house for your said sim that is an artist type of sim. So when I was building this house, I wanted to do something different with like the roofing and the furnishing and see what I could really do because normally when it comes to like these small lots, I never really have like a set plan on what the roofing is going to look like because I tend, I have a tendency to build the exact same suburban, you know, good old fashioned cottage home. And I felt like, you know, for this house, it was going to be small, not suburban, not too, too crazy, but something that's like, you know, good for a single sim to live here comfortably with their easel on the front porch because initially I was going to have the easel in the in, inside the house but I felt like for this sim they are are more outdoorsy but they also love art so so much they want to like paint landscaping more than portraits and abstract or whatever so they normally build landscape paintings and they take their easel wherever they go on travel to either to Sulani or, you know, Selva Dorada or Granite Falls or wherever they go, they take their easel with them and paint landscaping. And I love landscaping so, so much when it comes to, like my builds, but I also love landscaping photography. And I'm not a very professional photographer. I just like dabble into it and like just do whatever I really want to do with it. And I have fun doing those those things every single day. I try to go outside as much as possible as I can the summer to take photos and like edit them and like post them on Instagram or whatever or just keep them in my portfolio just for fun and see what people think because if I evidently post them on, you know, Instagram or I become a professional photographer one day, I want to showcase what I could really do with like my talent. And for this sim, he is you know a single sim he is bisexual and i felt like that something for this safe file but also for this house i wanted to have like you know a, a, a hint of diversity with like sexual orientation and you know gender and also like you know age range basically so there's there's families that have multi-generational families that that last like five generations long and you have you know same-sex same -sex couples or you have like you know, runaway teens or teen pregnancies or, or whatever. You have every single sim under the sun in this one save file. And the cool thing about the save file, in case you guys not know, or just hopping on this video, um, my save file is going to be base game and a dedicated pack. So every single world that came with like an ex expansion pack or a game pack, it'll be base game and like their said pack. So let's say um, Jungle Adventures will be only jungle adventures and base game only or Bridal and Bake will be cats and dogs and base game or the newest pack Sulani will be only base game and uh what's it called island living so I'm really excited for this one because it will challenge me to build with base game and one pack like restriction because I don't I don't build a lot with restriction I normally don't do because I have every single pack and I like to use every single pack to my disposal and see what I could really do creativity wise with my builds because I have like huge inspiration like from my friends like Avalyn and um Sim Lissy and Kayla and like all my friends that just are talented at building I take what they built in their like in their speed builds and their videos and whatever and I, I kind of see what I could do in my own builds like you know what I mean I'm not copying them but I'm like just taking inspiration from them like Rosa like she is so talented at building I'm like how do you build those said things with your hands and your brain and your eyeballs 
a put it in a game like that i just don't understand because i see her every now and then whenever we go to like you know sims camp or ea play or whatever because i just met her like for the second time at ea play a couple weeks ago and i'm like how do you do what you do when it like how do you build like that with your hands because i cannot build like that at all point point blank period so i'm learning i'm trying and um, i think i'm getting a little bit better with my roofing and also maybe my layouts that's something i gotta work on but i tried i tried my best with my layout for this house it just it's a bit funky so i might actually cut out the the layout of this house because it took me quite some time to figure it out so i'm really happy <laughs> how it turned out and i'm like kind of rambling because it's like it is almost 1 a.m. in the morning right now on a Monday, and I have work in like seven hours, but other than that, I'm okay. But I did want to post this video today because I wanted to, you know, post a video, see what you guys think, and kind of get your guys' request on what kind of builds you want me to do in the distant future for like the newest island living pack or any base game builds or restriction builds or anything at all because I know I've, I've gotten a few requests for a, a lot of requests lately for builds. And I write them down, but I never really seem to have the time to do them because I want to make the build that you guys request really, really good and not like rushed. Like, I mean, this feels like not really rushed. I did it all in one sitting because it was like a very short build and like very small and compact. So I think for my next build, I want to do like some type of like family home that is toddler safe because I got a comment. I forget like a couple weeks ago or, or like two months ago, probably. I can't remember. But I did get a comment seeing that someone wanted a house that was like, I think it was like a two-story house with like a family of three, I think. I don't know. If you left that comment, let me know down in the comments below. I will screenshot your comment or I'll just like go ahead and like look back at some old videos and find it myself. But other than that, though, I do, I do listen to you guys, your requests. I do hear them all every single time. And I, for one, love your, like, your ideas. And I full wholeheartedly will do them whenever I can because <laughs> I love building so much that it's gotten to the point where I'm like, I need to do all these set things in this amount of time and get them done so I don't have to for so I don't forget them and I can like put them out and then you guys can download them. And you know what's coming back? I am so happy to like finally like get my life together with like my new work schedule and like my summer and streaming and like uploading schedule as well and i mean i don't really announce my upload schedule really because it's kind of like willy-nilly whatever i upload at the same exact time but on whatever days pretty much so, like but i try to like post every like monday wednesday and friday and maybe like a saturday at 3 p.m cst and occasionally i'll over like i'll post on you know, on a Sunday or a Tuesday or a Thursday, like I probably like primarily will probably end up uploading every single day at the exact same time, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. But I try to shoot for Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday at 3 p.m. But other than that, though, I'm happy that I can finally bring back my cats and dogs family like Nina Larson, Nina Marie Larson and Darius Darius Grove oh no Darius Daniel Grove in case you guys don't know I had a cats and dogs LP for the cats and dogs you no know, expansion pack and I had a family called the Larsons and it was a teenage pregnancy type of thing but not really like a you know we're typical teenage pregnancy story it had a lot to do with more real life things and it had a lot of like real life scenarios and such like that and I'm happy to bring them back with Ivan living and get them married and have so much fun with them and i'm also bringing back well i'm also bringing back a build series and a new series a new lp so like technically like three new series a build series a new lp with the larson family and then a new dedicated island living lp but i just have to feel like i have to film the first part and the first part is actually a machinima of it and in case you guys not know you probably haven't heard about the sim named Karen that I've been talking about for literally ages, for a couple weeks now. Karen Prepon with 
wholeheartedly with so much drama in her life it's gone to the point where i feel like she's actually real but she really isn't she's just a character that a person made out of random it's an actual person that made a person named karen and i was like i have some named karen as well who's divorced with an ex-husband named randy and like all these different things are happening so it all comes in the full circle so a karen lp is happening and i'm really happy to like you know finally bring karen to the surface of youtube on the channel and like show how show how she lives where she lives how where did she live before who are her parents who are her relationships that she has that had to deal with in the past present and maybe maybe distant future because karen prep one has a life that you think is normal but it's not because her life is actually chaotic and let's just say karen's Karen's a, Karen's a person that you just do not want to get on her bad side because she have a she has a tendency of going on Facebook Live and literally exposing people for the fraud that they are. Like she literally, she literally went on Facebook Live like a couple weeks ago, talking about um Kathy and uh no actually no it was Tia no well actually it was also Kathy and Tia. A lot of people, also Randy and Lisa, and some, and some other people. But nevertheless, she has been talking about people, and but those people have been talking about talking about her behind her back and her kids. And I'm like, you know, don't mess with Karen because she will literally find you and then expose you, and it's not going to be pretty because she exposed Tia because Tia was at uh, the soccer game and. Tia is a soccer mom, so is Karen, and Kyle was playing at a soccer game soccer game a couple weeks ago, and, you know, Tia was like, oh, Kyle's so bad, he can't really play soccer, blah, 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 whatever, and Karen overheard from another parent, like, I think his name was Jeffrey, whatever, like, Jeffrey heard Tia talking about that, and then Jeffrey told Karen what Tia said, and then Karen was like, oh, so Tia wants to talk about my son, Kyle, that he can't play soccer, knowing the fact that Tia's son, son-in-law, oh, actually, no, no, Tia's son, who is also named Kyle, because I'm pretty sure that she was talking about her own son that cannot play soccer. So I don't know what Tia was talking about, because Tia literally should not talk. Like, she's trying to talk trash, but she should talk about her own trash her trashy husband and her trashy kids because literally Tia does not know what she's talking about at all. Anyway, I'm fine. I'm heated, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm yelling. However, like I said, Karen has a lot going in her life and it's definitely okay. She has gotten everything that she wanted. She's living the best life that she can be and she has a house in the divorce. She has two kids. She has all the money. And she's going to probably end up going back to Sulani, where she was born. She is a child of the ocean, a Sulani native, basically, but moved away to pursue the suburban life. And she was like, I'm going to move back to Sulani and, like, go back to my roots and show my kids where your heritage comes from. And, yeah, so pretty much I'm just, like, actually just heated inspired excited and wholeheartedly just so pumped for new content and diving right into island living and see what it has to offer because i know a lot of people have been seeing saying and seeing a lot of glitches and saying that island living is like not a really good pack because the amount of like the amount of not gameplay that we have because i can i see it i play through it a little bit um i've seen the mermaids are not really, like, the best in a way. Like, they don't have a lot of gameplay towards them. Like, they're just there. Like, I feel like the mermaids are just there. Like, you become a mermaid, you eat the kelp, and that's it. Like, what's next? Like, you can't really do anything other than that. So I feel like with, you know, how with the Vampire Game Pack and Get Famous, how they had, like, a ranking system, I felt like if 
I would, I would, I thought, I actually thought that we would, we were going to get a ranking system for the mermaids where you could become a mermaid for the very first time once you age up into a teenager. And as you grow up, you start to develop powers and, you know, different skills and whims and like relationships and like different things that you could, you normally couldn't do unless you like were at a certain level as a mermaid. So I felt like, you know, mermaids are lacking a lot. Like they're just there flapping their fins they don't get too far legs legs are required for jumping and dancing but they don't have legs because they have tails however like i said mermaids are just there for the aesthetic like the whole aesthetic of island living is perfect i love it i love the world i love how it looks without reshade very vibrant very clear crisp and collect but like i said mermaids need more work and also somehow we don't have an island for island living like we kept we got a counter but not an island so that's kind of weird but i heard that they're actually f working on fixing those said issues like giving us an island counter also like some extra stuff as well because there were some things that were missing and i for one saw all of that because i have a glitch in my game where somehow my sims go to like this this little bow thing in the center of the ocean and then somehow they're walking above water like they're jesus i'm like who do you think you are you cannot walk above water because that's not possible but then again it's a sim so you can basically do whatever you want but you know they gain a fitness skill so i'm like i'm not really mad because sometimes my sims like to drown in the water when they swim out too far in the deep deep ocean i mean hey the sims the possibilities are endless in The Sims. Like, The Sims could literally be flying up in the air like nobody's business, and you would not even care. And I'm okay with that. And then I saw on Twitter, The Sims Supply actually tweeted saying that the ladders that we got with the I Island Living Pack is cool and all, but somehow we didn't get a regular ladder that we could use on the indoors, like, to make it like, a nice loft or a beach house or, or a tiny home or whatever. And I was like, wait a minute. That just occurred to me just now that we don't really have an actual, like, good, sturdy ladder to, like, put on the indoors because we can only use the ladders for the water, and that's pretty much it. So I'm like, there are some things that we are missing in these packs that I wish that we had. Because, like, the animation is already there. We just need it on the inside instead of the outside, or both but more on the inside. But I'm pretty sure someone's going to make a custom content out of that where you can use those ladders on the inside and be okay with it with Sims 4 Studio. So look, I mean, hey, CC creators are going to come through with the mods and the CC and the recolors and make the game more fun and more interesting to see what it could do. But nevertheless, I'm going to go and actually wrap up this voiceover right here. I hope you guys really much enjoyed it as much as I did. Please go ahead and let me know down in the comments below, what are your thoughts about this house, this group collab, my rambling about Tia, my heated moment that I just had a couple of minutes ago, but we won't talk about that right now. We'll talk about it in a later video, probably like, you know, next couple of days when I build Greg's house, because I got some tea to spill about him you know but um <laughs> um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments below as always and i will see you guys all in the very next video bye